What's up guys, it's Major Chaos here to showcase one of my decks now. Uh, it's one of my favorite decks, recently just got support this past Friday in uh, set 14. It is a mile deck, so I'm going to go over starter, and then my lineup, and then we'll go over the G-Zone. So, playing this starter here because I only place a certain number of grade 3s, because it says when he boosts a brave unit, when he hits you, shove him into soul, the top 10 cards of your deck, and search for two alt miles, add one to hand, one goes into soul, which is really nice for building soul, so... Milius, renewed. So we're playing four of my new friend here, uh, Higher Deity Knight Altmile. He is really nice. He's the first GB2 uh, that actually gets crit on Rearguard. I don't know if the Tashikaze won it or not, but he's very nice. He's a great Rearguard and a great Vanguard. His stride slash on place bonus is once per turn. Soul Blast, a Brave Unit. Search your deck for any Brave card aside from him. Call it a Rearguard. Really nice for fetching out your combo pieces like Felixes, among others. But you'll see those later on in the deck profile. Um, overall, very good card. The deck revolves around him. You want to be hit on him at all times. Um, next, we're playing two of New Old Alt Mile, uh, Knight of Heavenly Decree Alt Mile. He's not bad. He's a little slower and more clunkier, but he he's still solid if you have to ride him. But most of the time, you're gonna want to be on best best Alt Mile here. All right. Next, we're gonna go to Grade Twos. As you can see, I'm only playing six Grade Threes because I'm trying to save space for grade 1s and grade 2s, which are very important in this deck. No grade 2 in this deck is more important than my friend here, Mr. Sullymon. He is amazing. He uh, essentially calls another unit to attack, and you can do some really fun chain attacks with him. Um, he, Brave Effect, which, if you don't know what Brave does, it says if you have 3 cards or less in your hand, his Brave Effect is active. Which says he gets plus three if you have Altmile Vanguard, and then he has on attack, counterblast one, digit card from your hand, search your deck for a grade two with the Brave ability, or just grade two, uh, and call it to Rearguard. So you're going to essentially be calling out into Wombo combos, which I'll show you with some of the strides later on. But very essential piece. You want to play four. You do not play anything less than four unless you don't own four. But that's one of the best cards in the deck, if not the best card in the deck. Next we have a new addition. Um, he got a new makeover in set 14, one of the OG trial deck cards re like re-released here. We got Liberat, or as some of my friends call him, Liberace for, for some reason. He is a 10k effect rearguard. He's amazing. He says on rearguard, you can't attack unless you have a brave anger, which most all your grade 3s have the brave keyword, so it's not a problem. His amazing effect is on rearguard, as long as you have a vanguard with brave, you can bust, or oh, sorry, Altwile in its name. You kind of must one, call a grade two to another rear guard, um, and shuffle your deck. Which essentially you do the loop between him, Liverot, Liverot here, and Sullivan. So you go turn sideways, call him, turn sideways, call him, turn sideways, call him, until you run out of counterblast, pretty much. Pretty much turn sideways dot deck. Um, lastly, the grade twos are going to be a little techy here. So because Albion's not brave, I'm not playing him. I'm playing two Red On, who is really a amazing card. Last set, he was one of the reasons the deck worked so good, because you get just a flat power boost to your front row and just poke, 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 uh, which is amazing. So he says his main effects while you play him is Brave 2, GB2. Uh, he gives all your other units in the front row plus three. So if he's in the back row, he gives your whole front row plus three, which is amazing. Also, when he's placed, you get, can give him plus three. And then if you have all my Vanguard, you can choose to discard a card to give him boost, but you never use an effect. More or less use him for the buffing in the front row. Next we have a card that could be have been a lot better, but is still really amazing. Sepgal. Um, he has the effect of when he's placed on Van when he's ridden on Vanguard or placed on Rearguard from hand, you soul blast one, reveal an all on from your hand. Search deck for a brave one, a brave unit with 7k power. So most of the time you're calling grade ones. There is a grade two that I've been flirting with playing, but I still have to do some testing with, named Big Sword Angel, which I know a very creative name by Bushy Road, but he says call grade ones. Essentially you call your caramel pieces out, you call Gloomy, you call um, uh, Damascus Witch, you call uh, Felax to buff your front row and give resist. Um, also he has GB1 Brave, he gets plus two, which is really nice. Um, so those are my grade twos, I'm playing 12 grade twos. Next we have my grade ones. I'm going to start with Perfect Guards. I pl I'm playing three of Security Knight Regius. If you don't know already, he has a standard Perfect Guard effect, but he also has the Brave effect on GB2. When he's placed on Rear Guard from hand, if you have a Vanguard with Alt Mile, you can Soul Charge one, 
And if you have one or less card in your hand, he essentially perfect guards for a soul charge card, which is amazing. You only play three because you will never probably ever go through more than one, maybe two of these, depending on what's in your hand, because you want to kill them as soon as possible with this deck. So three perfect guards. Next we're playing. I wanted to cut him, but I'm still playing him because Gumi is amazing, which I'm gonna show you next. But he's still needed, so if you have to tutor out the right all you need to be on, or you just need a card in hand to stride water. I've noticed certain decks can, can deal with the, the next card I'm going to show you very, very easily, so he's still kind of needed for the deck for just added security that you're going to be able to stride, because if you can't stride in this deck, you're kind of just dead in the water or already dead. So, yeah, three stride fodder. Next we have almost pushed him all the way out of the deck, but he's still in there for obvious reasons. We have three of cute winged cat Gayumi, essentially. Has the continuous rigor effect of Brave. Uh, you can essentially sack this for the cost of Stride. So, unless you're playing against a deck that has uh, retire effects, unfortunately, set 14, Lord, and Charlotte both got ways to retire him, more efficient ways to retire you know, him. You play three because you can call it out with your Alt Mile, you can call it out with Sept Gall. It's just overall a very, very good card. Also, it's a Brave unit, so you have to ride. It's also very good, so you can trigger your starter more often because the starter cares about having the Brave keyword on your Vanguard. Um, and uh, so next is one of the best additions they got this set, which is uh, Lunar Fang Knight Felix. He is one of the essentially like the reason that they're relevant again because otherwise Kagero and other, other things that can uh, retire on uh, during the battle phase during your battle phase would just totally wreck this deck. He says passive rearguard continuous. He gets plus one and resist if you have a brave vanguard. And more importantly, his GB2 Brave is why you play him. He gives the front row plus two and resist. So he says, get out of here to Denial Chicken, um, among other things. Also, he uh, he helps against uh, MP Dragon as well for the Narakami Mirror match. But you're playing you're playing four of them because he is literally amazing. I hate that dude. He got right around my G guard. Yeah, also he says kind of F you to Nubatama, which is pretty good. And then last time I'm playing two of this, I was very tempted to cut this card, but I realized essentially the number of attacks you get in is dependent on how many open counterblasts you have. And with some of my strides actually having a counterblast cost, you want to be able to refund that as easily as possible. So you can use Solomon and uh, Liberat to the best of your ability. So she says, um, there's also a promo that's a doggo that... Uh, has the same effect as her, essentially brave. End of your turn, retire her, draw a card, counter charge two. Very, very strong card, like I said. The only reason I have not cut it is because of you really need counter blast to go off in this deck, and some decks are just gonna try to play around you, so you wanna be able to control your resources as best you can. So I'm gonna go on to triggers next. We're playing four of Sargol, aka Jesus Pup. He has brave effect, that's why you're playing him. He's also a stand trigger. Stand triggers do not hurt in this deck because of the way you're Attack chains go off. You generally attack with the old your rear guards first, and then you go into Vanguard attack. Um, so hitting a stand is not always the worst thing. Next, we're playing for Brave Crit. She says Brave Shovel to Soul. Choose choose one of your units with the Brave ability and get a plus five. It's a crit also. You know that extra damage is really nice, and you'll see why when I reveal my my G zone. It's an alt model deck, so wouldn't be an alt model deck without four alt model crit. I actually do not use his Shrub to Soul effect as often as I used to because you want to retain the Brave ability during your battle phase and having him draw a card when your Vanguard attacks can sometimes knock you out of Felix's Brave range and Redon's Brave range, which really is annoying. So he's a crit, he's alt mile, he's good. He he can build soul, but the fact that the new alt mile wants to soul blast a Brave unit, you're not using this effect as, as often as you used to. And lastly, we're playing four of the new effect heals. It's not a Jewel Knight, not a sub -clan or anything like that. Classic. Resource card. Every time you use two of these, you can bind it to either Soul Charge, which is not always bad in this deck because you can try to roll the dice and get a Brave unit, or Counter Charge, which most of the time you're going to shoot for Counter Charge because, like I said, you want Counter Blast in this deck so you can aggro your opponent. So, next I'm going to go into Strides. We're playing three of GR that a lot of people were hyping up this set for rightful reasons, why the deck's back in the, back in the spotlight, if you will. Um, Immortal Holy Sword Fide. So, you will see his past iteration stride form in this deck, but the reason that this deck is in the limelight again, if you will, is because of his effect. He says, counter blast one, flip G unit. Essentially, he gives gets a continuous effect of if you have 
if your opponent has only one Guardian, the attacks of your units with the Brave Ability hit will hit regardless of power. So they have to call at least two cards to Guard Circle if they want to guard an attack, be, which essentially is really nice because it just rips more cards out of their hands and uh, is very, very nice, especially when you're chain comboing. Uh, his other effect is you probably will not see because if you do not kill him by the second one of these, you're probably either dead or doing something wrong. Um, he says on attack you call, I believe, three units with the Brave Ability and call them regard and shuffle your deck. But the main effect you're playing him for is the guard restriction thing where if they only have one guardian, he's they're hitting. All your brave units are hitting. That's why all my grade twos and 90% of my grade ones are have the brave ability. Next we play old Fides. More or less it's a filler card, but his effect is still nice. Most of the time you're probably gonna flip this as the cost of your first Fides that I just showed you. So you can either go in him later game to ret potentially retire and buff your front row. Still useful card. Probably won't go into it that often, if any, because like I said, you're going into the new Fides because new Fides says mess with the guard. Messing with the cards they can guard with is always a good thing. Um, other flip fodder for Fides is Holy Dragon Luminous Hope, who says for every copy you have face up, um, you can essentially give it plus 10 and your rear guards plus 1 for every face co up copy. Also, on attack, you call a grade 2 from your deck, and it can get to give itself crit if you have three units with the Brave Ability in your D-Zone, which most of your D-Zone is the Brave Ability, so it's not hard to do. Um, probably will never go into this, maybe depending on their hand size, because Fides is generally all you need. Next, we're playing one of good old GR Holy Dragon, uh, Brave Lancer Dragon. He says, Brave front row units get plus three on attack, and... When he attacks, you carry him last one, search for up to three cards from your deck with a Brave Ability, call him to regard. For every call card you call, you discard from your hand. But if you so if you do this right, when you attack, if you have zero cards in your hand, you can't you don't have you don't discard anything because you don't have anything, but you can call three units out for essentially a counter blast one, which is amazing. Um, very strong card, you really don't need this anymore though. Like you rarely will go into this because of fee days. Um, lastly we have Oak Mile. Ride the SP, flip the non, obviously. Um, Alt Miles is a good, just a filler card. Ideally, I want to eventually make room for Ultima, which will probably cut this, but we'll see what happens. So, Alt Miles is good because you call a unit, uh, if you're a G2, you call a unit, you give plus five, and he gives the front row plus three, which is really nice. So, we're going on G guards. I'm only playing four G guards because I don't own the flip G guard for uh, for Royal Paladins. Um, we're playing two of a grain. She says, GB1 Brave get plus 5, then you can also Soul Blast 1 if you have an Alt Mall Vanguard to get plus 10. Um, she's solid, but most of the time you're going to be going into this G Guard, which is more or less a nutty reason why they're back again. Essentially, it's a G Guard that's a perfect guard. It says, Vanguard to Vanguard, you ditch your heal, and place him on Guard Circle says, uh, you cannot be hit, which is really amazing for some of these. Silly restanding strides like Minerva, Stark, you just name it. Stopping Vanguard attack is very useful because some of the time times they're going to be hitting you with those extra damages you don't want to take. Um, so that is the deck, guys. Um, really enjoying it so far. Fides days is very strong. Um, we'll see how it goes as time progresses, but I hope you guys enjoy the deck profile. Thanks for watching, and I'll, as always, subscribe.